Hale was a Unitarian minister, uh, an anti-slavery advocate, a passionate supporter of the Union cause in the Civil War. And the story is, is a product of that context, of the context of the Civil War. The story begins with the introduction of a character named Philip Nolan. Philip Nolan is the man without a country. He was a prisoner aboard one ship after another. They went cruising for three years at a time. And then when the ship was returning to port, they would transfer poor Nolan to the outbound ship. And so it went for over 50 years until um, he died in 1863, which uh, is uh, the year in which Hale is telling the story and uh, I think of some significance also the year of the Emancipation Proclamation. The next step is what I would regard arguably as the most important. Uh, and that's the one that takes place uh, on, the, on the ship where they have uh, herded these people to become slaves. The slave schooner. The, the ship that he's on encounters right. this other ship, which uh, this is after we have signed the uh, uh, treaty uh, against the further... Uh, importation uh, and trading of slaves. So the American naval vessel comes upon this ship. I don't know whose flag it's sailing. Uh, perhaps Portuguese, I don't know. But um, they're, they're ferrying African slaves, uh, and we don't know where. And the American ship arrests them, boards it, um, tries to tell the slaves that they're free, but nobody understands a word. And uh, the captain calls out for, does anybody here know Portuguese? And it turns out no one, of course, is the only person aboard the naval vessel who, uh, who knows Portuguese. So they put him in a little boat, and he goes, he goes down to the, uh, to the slave ship. And he translates. And he's the one who actually is, a, is able to tell uh, the, the Africans in a language that they understand that they are now free. This is a kind of Lincoln-esque moment. So he is, in fact, doing what Lincoln did. Somewhat anachronistically, Nolan has been, by virtue of knowing more than English, which is to say being a man of the world and knowing Portuguese, mm -hmm. is able to play Abraham Lincoln to these slaves in the year of the emancipation, told in the year of the Emancipation mm -hmm. Proclamation, mm -hmm. not enacted in the year of the Emancipation Proclamation. Here is Nolan, um, as far as the slaves are concerned, um, the um, universally speaking representative of the United States, giving them their freedom. And he does this um, partly because he knows Portuguese, but partly because he's aboard a ship bearing the flag of the United States which at least at this stage in our checkered history has made uh, not the final by any means, but a major step in the direction ultimately of the elimination of slavery. It's, it's a, it's, I mean, the mm -hmm. Civil War has to take care of that. But um, so, so no one has been put in the position of embodying the American principle of freedom and the American principle of equality. And in fact, is receives adulation from these people. I'm persuaded that there's something to this sort of Lincolnian moment, as you've both the, described it, of, uh, of him, even though in some ways he's a fraud in doing so, because he, he, he is the one, one person aboard his ship that cannot represent the United States. Exactly. 